Hey, Earth Signs, it's Nicola. So this will be your daily read. This is for August the 7th, 2019. What messages do we have? For Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What messages do we have? For Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Messages. For Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for August the 7th, 2019. What messages do we have? For Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right. Angel of Joyfulness. Whew. So I feel like something wondrous, well, not feel, it says something wondrous and magical is about to happen. With the Angel of Guidance here, it says a renewed sense of direction and purpose will soon manifest. So I feel like you guys are going to get some new direction here and it's going to be like a magical type of time for you. So that's pretty good, Earth Signs. All right, so this is the messages we have. This is for Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. This is for August the 7th, 2019. What messages, what guidance do we have for Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Messages, guidance for Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. This is for August the 7th, 2019. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What messages, what guidance do we have for Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. August the 7th, 2019. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Messages. Ooh. Ooh. Guidance. The Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's see what we got. All right. We got the Nine of Pentacles here. So this could be about your security, your abundance. Some of you guys, this could be about your money. Feel me? Oh, with the Nine of Wands, someone's overcoming something. Two Nines in a row with the Strength card. Someone's overcoming something. Um, Really... Deciding to take action, understanding their own, ooh, someone understands their own power here. I like this. So someone's finding the strength to make a decision. King of Swords here, strength. Yes, these two together, someone's finding the strength to make a decision. Um, I really feel like here with the magician here, someone has decided to take action. Could have been looking out to the universe before about what to do. Could be dealing with an earth sign, queen of pentacles, or this can be you. This is an earth sign reading. Really um, looking out to the universe, trying to have patience. I feel like there's a decision that is being made, and I feel like someone's taking action on that decision. Now, I don't actually see movement. Y'all know I'm going to tell you if I see movement. I don't actually see movement, but I do feel like um, someone's taking action on a decision. So with the nine of wands, why is this nine of wands here? Got the seven of wands with the king of pentacles. Woo. So someone here could be standing up with the nine of wands. Usually I would see the seven of wands as resistance. But I don't feel like that. I feel like someone is standing up for themselves, being confident about making an offer. So I feel like someone is standing up for what they believe, finding their confidence, could be resisting some sort of some sort of situation. But I feel like someone sees the truth of what is worthy or wealthy to them. Y'all gonna get it right one day. Someone sees the truth of what is worthy to them um, or what is wealth for them. And I feel like they're making a move. Knight of Cups is a move. I don't feel like they're moving quickly, but I do feel like they're making a move. With the Ace of Cups, yeah, someone's making a move toward a new opportunity in love, Ace of Cups. So, strength card here. Why is the strength? What's wrong? <laughs> Why is the strength card here? With the Empress here and the Queen of Cups, Page of Wands. Woo, someone could be finding the strength to move toward someone new. Could be dealing with the water sign. Could be dealing. I feel like this is love. With the Taurus, with the Empress here, Taurus, Libra energy here, Queen of Cups, this could be a water sign. But I feel like this is someone making... Uh, a loving decision for self and really identifying a new path for themselves. Someone is enthusiastic about moving forward. Could be moving towards someone new, page of cups, page of wands. That's definitely new energy. Ten of wands, someone's laying down the burdens. So someone's finding the strength to lay down some burdens and really choose something in high vibration for self. I feel like it's high vibration love. So with the 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 magician and the surrounding energy, why is this magician and the surrounding energy? The star here, that's Aquarian energy, Virgo energy here, mm. Eight of Cups. Someone here is taking action. They went within themselves. This is someone has went through an emotional growth. They see now what is the right path for themselves. So either someone has been spending some time alone, could be a, a, a an Aquarius taking action, could be a Virgo taking action. Someone here has went through an emotional growth. They've walked away from something and they're on the search for something more meaningful. With Queen of Pentacles as an underlying energy. This could be an earth sign. We got king and queen of pentacles here. That's a match. But this could also be you taking on this energy and really 
making a compassionate decision to really manifest something new for yourself. And I feel like someone has been within themselves and really they want something more. Someone wants something more. So with the Ace of Wands here, I feel in the subconscious, I feel like there's a new opportunity here. Someone has a new opportunity on their mind. Why is this Ace of Wands here? We got the Two of Wands here. Someone's at a crossroads looking out to the universe because that Ace of Wands, the Two of Wands, the Three of Wands. Someone's looking out to the universe about emotional fulfillment and someone is now ready to plant some seeds. Um, four of Wands, it looks like toward a relationship or toward a connection that is balanced and energy. A balanced energetic connection with the king of swords here why is this king of swords here there's a decision what's what's the king of swords here who's the king of swords could be dealing with an aquarius why is the king of swords here nine of cups three of cups Woo! ace of pentacles someone here now is creating balance they're choosing to balance the situation out i feel like there is this is a celebration so it says here something wondrous and magical is about to happen with the Nine of Cups and the Three of Cups, I feel like someone it has a new opportunity to have happiness. The Three of Cups could represent a third party, but if it does, that means someone's making a decision between two people and going toward Ace of Pentacles, a new opportunity. Nine of Cups here, someone could be deciding to allow their concerns to fade away or deciding to, be, to go toward material happiness or physical happiness for them. Um, and emotional, the Nine of Cups is, is about being happy. Um, I really feel like someone now... I feel like someone's manifesting something new for themselves or they have manifested something new for themselves and now they're secure or confident about taking the move or taking action moving forward. I feel like the time is now. With divine timing as the underlying energy for your for your outcome, I feel like the time is now and someone's making a decision now. All right, so let's see what guidance we have. What messages do we have? For Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Messages for Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What messages do we have for Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo? So we got persistence, yoga, and nurture yourself. Someone with fertility underneath here. I feel like someone is overcoming the situation and bringing balance to themselves by making a decision to move forward. Someone's gaining their independence, and I feel like they're they're doing it because of either love of self or love of someone else. But I feel like someone's bringing something into fruition. So this is all I have. Until next time, peace.